All right, hello everybody! Travis Chandler here with another adventure here, Fable Anniversary. Today we're gonna go to the arena, fight in the arena. Got everything all cleaned up now. We just move on with the game. So here we go. So oh, here we go. We're gonna check the experience pool to see what we got for experience. We have enough to work the spells. We don't. We need forty-one thousand two hundred eighty-three. We're gonna probably get that in the arena. We'll boast, and then we'll go to, um, Witchwood, and we'll go to the arena. <clears throat> Without a scratch. Merciful hero. Okay. All right, off to which wood we go. I know we could use the guild seal, but okay, we'll just use the gate. I'm being lazy. Come into spectate or participate. Participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination from the guild, just like everyone else. You've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. That's right, bitch. This way, please. Here we go. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. Hey, there's me. heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history. They want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound, that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, Chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This'll be easy. Okay. When it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins you prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Yeah, like what we're gonna do. Or not, the arena bonus prize given by Jack of Blades himself 
will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. Uh, Roth, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. Oh, that's a glitch. That's a glitch. Right, I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Damn right I am. Ah, uh, round one. They always tell me this one gives them the biggest, uh, buzz. Buzz. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Chicken Chaser. Famous for the Western Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Twin Blade. Like our other brave challengers, this something coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round, an old arena favorite, it's the Wasp Horn! All right! Fighting like that earns 100 gold. The next round will be worth 500 gold. Next round, here we go. Maybe new to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly, Hobbs. All right. I love fighting Hobbs. One. Go. Come on over, bros. Three. Two. One. Go. Boom. Three. Two. One. There we go. Two, one, go. There we go. That's another five hundred gold. Six hundred gold learned so far. And there's another thousand up for grabs in the next round. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team rounds. Uh oh. Side by side, fighting together for their very survival. And there's been a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend, Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. 
So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Valverines? I can do it by myself. I don't need Whisper. Three, two, one, go! That money. I almost killed this one. There we go. Almost Three, this one. Two, one, go. Dude, I didn't talk about with an inflame. No way! Oh no, I didn't. There I did. Three, two, one, go. Give me the white Balverines. your ass down. <laughs> Damn it, Whisper. I had him. <laughs> And gold reward. Wow! Damn right. Sixteen hundred in the bag, and there's another two thousand on offer for the next round. And we're gonna keep going. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. Give them a big hand. Hey. Our next hey. round is a real hey. favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. Hey. The undead! Three, two, one, go! Yeah. 
I hope that was worth 2,000 gold. I reckon it was. Damn yeah, right it was. They've earned 3,600 gold. But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? Damn yeah, right I will. The competition's hotting up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. Round five, and here they are. Spared from the headsman's block, let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. Three, two, one, go! threw one at me. Did you see that? Whisper threw one of her bombs at me. Bitch. I'm only here helping you fight. Ugh. Three. See, I knew I would get more experience. Ugh. There was one left. One. Go. I've almost killed this one. A cool 3,000 more gold for that. They banked 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. Damn right. We're taking it. Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, cops, balverines, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. This is not hard. This is not hard at all. Two, one, go! Prizes real quick. And Here we go. Wow, a total of 10,600 gold. Enough for a small house. Do they want another 8,000 gold? Damn right I do. Things 
things are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. But what stands between our noble heroes and their winning? Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Trolls, Stanoff and Groin! I'm just now getting that name. Shoot and move, that's what you do here. Six hundred in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another ten thousand? Yes, it is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. Hi. Give you a rock canox. Three, two, one, go. There he is. Kill his little fucking scorpions. There he is. We just destroyed them? Yeah, we did. We destroyed them all. Ah, come on. Oh, they turned it off. Okay. Well, this is a boss after all. That's another 10,000 gold! Damn right! This 
is for a massive total of 28,600 gold. We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned, after an eternity away from you all. Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy in it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. There we go. All he has to do is give her one final strike, and the bonus prize is his. But will he do it? Will he kill Whisper? Or will he throw his victory away? Don't do it, farm boy. We agreed. Just walk out. We agreed. Let's stop fighting now. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep Whisper alive. But my dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey, the Mayor of Bowerstone. <laughs> I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li- Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not over. New blood spills just like any other. And yours will spill soon. Alright, so we won the arena. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. She was a fine hero, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed 
by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother. Scarlet Rogue, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion. Yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Bowerston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. All right, well, we did it. And we got both the boats. Nice. Hey, you. Theresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. Okay, well, we're going to go back to the guild. And I'm going to see about maxing out my final spell. And then we'll be good to go. But then we'll have to, I'll probably have to end this video after I, um, do this, so. So in the next video, we'll check out Bowerstone North, and then we'll go to the Great House and see what Teresa wants. There we go. Heal life is max. All right. So I'll go out here, let it save, and then we'll, then I'll call it for this video. I hope you all had fun. I'll see you all in the next video.